Okay, let's take a look at a workspace overview. I'm going to go ahead and start up Setup Factory here so we can see it from the beginning. We've got our splash screen. As you can see, it starts up nice and quick. Now, this is the um, new project screen here. We've got a Welcome to Setup Factory message, and we've got four different buttons. You can exit here if you want, or you can restore your last open project, or you can open an existing project uh, from your hard drive or create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create a New Project for now and maximize my application. Now this is just a workspace overview and I encourage you to go through here and check everything out for yourself. Uh, let's take a look now at some of the basics. Of course we've got panes here and we can dislodge them if you like or undock them by grabbing them and dragging them around and we can redock them by snapping them into place. Okay, so that's fun to experiment with. As you can see when they're docked they've got a little pin here and when you click on that pin it actually pulls out of the way when not in use and you can actually come over the tab here mouse over the tab and bring it back into play so you can pin them open or you can unpin them again too if you want to get rid of the pane altogether you can click on that red X in the upper right hand corner uh, we've got our archive and ex external tabs here and uh, you can actually configure these any way you want for example the columns if you go to view columns you can actually choose which columns you see and which order they're in. For example, as you can see, if I move this out of the way, uh, the name and destination columns are in a certain order, and I can actually reverse that here by just using this little arrow here. And when we press OK, it's actually going to reverse those. See that? So you can actually go through and set those up any way you want. Um, the archive and external tabs, of course, the same thing here. When we go into the columns area, there's uh, specific tabs for each area then you can actually go through and reset your defaults with the defaults button or use the check all or uncheck all button to do that too. You can actually get rid of them all together. As you can see on the left side here there's a bunch of panes and these are uh, you can expand them and contract them here. So for example uh, you can expand the ones that you use a lot like the actions one and the screens one for example and leave the uninstall contracted except for when you need it and it'll actually go ahead and open up and you get a scroll bar here and you can go through and and work with it. Again, this pane here is pinnable and unpinnable using this little pin here. We can auto hide it so the task pane is gone. Now when I mouse over it, it actually pops back out. So that's quite handy. Uh, for example, if we're working with a bunch of uh, file names over here and we want to be able to see the details in the columns um, to get the tasks uh, thing out of the way, that's quite handy and then we can just mouse over and get it back in play. And if we're going to be using it a lot, of course we can repin it just by clicking that little pin. Now, the thing about this uh, video tutorial is obviously I can't go through every single aspect of the workspace, so I'm just trying to get the general stuff here for you. So I encourage you to go through after um, this video tutorial and experiment as well to look up in the docs, of course. And if you have any questions, just meet us in the forum. We'll be happy to answer anything that you've got. As you can see here under the view menu, you've got the toolbars and you can actually choose the different ones. And under the tools customize gives you access to the same thing. So for example, if we go to view toolbars and we choose file, you'll see this file toolbar popped in here where we can open and save files and etc. like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and let's go to tools customize and you'll see it's got the same option. If I go ahead and check file here, we get the exact same menu, right? And these, of course, can be dragged around and stuff. For example, you see it's kind of out of sync here with the, this uh, menu here. And if we actually go ahead and close this down, we can actually go ahead and drag those two onto the same row if we like, for example. And so on and so forth. You can drag these around. You can unpin them like this. You can get rid of them. Um, you can drag them up and do whatever you want with them. As well, you'll see here that there's a little tiny black triangle at the end of the toolbar, so you can click that and it gives you an opportunity to add or remove buttons. As you can see here, for example, if we wanted to get rid of the help contents button, we could click that and it would be removed from that particular menu. Or if we put it back, uh, if we click it, it'll come back there. You can actually reset them here too, you can customize them and so on and so forth. So it's extremely powerful. You can create any type of workspace environment that you want and really turbocharge your productivity because I know for me um, basically that's 90% of the game is having the application set up right so I can get things done fast. Of course a lot of people are, are you know looking for different things than me. They're not necessarily looking uh, for speed but there's a lot of different uh, advantages to um, using these customizations and basically uh, using the workflow that works best for you. So at any rate, um, as you can see in the panes here on the left, 
when I expand them, they all have a variety of different options. When you click on one of those options, it brings up a dialog typically. If you double click the title bar in these dialogs, typically they will maximize like that and they'll take up the whole screen. So it gives you an opportunity to get more room. For example, here if you're working in your actions editor, you might want to have it taking up this much room rather than this much uh, when you're creating scripts. So that's a basic overview, very, very basic overview of this extremely well put together and uh, streamlined workspace that they've offered us here in Setup Factory 7.0. I think the guys at Indigo Rose did a really nice job here and I find this particular workspace very productive. It's, it's not geared towards eye candy or towards distracting things. It's just geared towards getting stuff done fast. Everything you need is right there and you can set it up any way you want. Uh, like I say, if any questions come to mind about this workspace, please join us in the forum at www.indigorose.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. So that's the workspace overview. Let's go on to the next video lesson now.